what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here happy early halloween to everyone listening and to anyone who celebrates halloween so in this video we're going to be talking specifically about hard eyes which is an upcoming horror romance comedy film from sony and spyglass so i'm going to be recapping this hollywood reporter article to go back over everything we've already heard about the film that's confirmed and then dive into some rumored plot details about things that we haven't heard share my thoughts on what i've heard as far as like the motive and some other sequences in the film and the cast but if you don't want to be led down any particular path about hard eyes because you want to experience it for the first time in theaters without listening to a video like this then you've been warned and if you're spoiled i don't care now to recap sony is hoping to scare up some pre-valentine's day movie going with hard eyes which the studio has picked up for february 7 2025 release date olivia holt and mason gooding star in the spyglass feature in which the couple killing hard eyes killer stalks seattle when the killer mistakes a pair of co-workers working overtime on valentine's day for another couple they must flee and spend the most romantic night of the year on the run Gigi Zimbardo, Devin Sawa, and Georgiana Brewster also star in Hot, Hard Eyes. Josh Rubin directs from a script by Philip Murphy, Christopher Landon, and Michael Kennedy. A lot of you out there, myself included, love Christopher Landon's work as well as Michael Kennedy. So here's what the director had to say about Hard Eyes when the project was announced. He said, my love of horror is rivaled only by my love of romantic comedies. I'm excited as hell to mount my most challenging genre bender to date, a brutal slasher in a nostalgic rom-com universe. The feature blends horror and comedy and follows Spyglass horror hits such as Scream 6 and Thanksgiving. Landon and yeah, I'm not going to read that. That's just going over some production company companies just to talk about the rumored plot details. So we haven't heard who's playing who. We haven't heard anything about the characters. But when I go into the cast, I will recall something for everyone when it comes to two announcements that came at once. So here's who's playing who. And of course, again, like I always state, I trust that this will be confirmed sooner rather than later because the source of this is quite credible. So Olivia Holt and Mason Gooding are the co-workers in this film, the leads. Olivia plays Allie. Mason plays Jay. Gigi Zimbardo stars as Monica. Devin Sawa stars as Detective Hobbs. And Jordana Brewster stars as Detective Shaw. Now, what's funny there is that those two that I just mentioned at the end were announced together. I think Deadline and Variety and everybody, as far as reputable trades go, had their casting announcement at the same time and now knowing that they're playing a pair of detectives it makes sense so i thought that was funny the other thing that's humorous here is the fact that they're playing hobbs and shaw the funny part is that obviously jordana who is from the fast and furious franchise stars as one half of this pairing so that's the joke for anyone familiar with fast and furious you understand it so I haven't heard too much high praise about the film i haven't heard too much bashing of the film i've just heard that the movie is okay so Olivia and Mason, for anyone who's a fan of their work, I've heard that they are, I've heard that they're great. So I'm going to be expecting them to have some killer chemistry. I heard Devin Sawa is underutilized. I did hear that the killer reveals weak. That's not to say that me or you will think the same things when this movie drops in February, but I've heard that it's weak. As far as the motive, the motive itself seems to be very deranged, unhinged, and off your meds type of motivation. Think richie and amber and jill from screen four and screen five that's not to say that it's a similar motive it's just to say that it's a little bit less empathetic of me you're not going to feel any empathy for for this person there's just no possible way i can feel empathy for what i am hearing the motive is it's just very you are sick <laughs> you are twisted and you are off your meds as opposed to if you're familiar with the screen franchise I can feel some sort of empathy for what's motivating Billy. I can feel some sort of empathy for what motivates Mrs. Loomis, Roman. I can't feel empathy towards Jill. I can't feel any empathy towards Richie and Amber. So it's the same thing here with Hard Eyes. The killer is just, they're crazy. They're off their meds. As far as everything else with this movie goes, the killer uses a couple of different weapons, the most prominent being a machete similar to Jason Voorhees. I think there's also bow and arrows in the mix. Allie just broke up with her boyfriend. She works in advertisement and is probably going to be fired soon if she doesn't come up with a better commercial since her boss, who is named Crystal, isn't pleased with her latest efforts. Monica is her best friend who also works at the same company. Jay, who Monica seems to have some sort of, or Allie, I meant to say, seems to have some sort of romantic interest in, ends up asking Allie out to dinner, which of course this is on Valentine's Day, but he asks her out to dinner so they can work on a new commercial, and that's where the working overtime part of the plot starts to come in. 
Hobbs and Shaw actually are joked about, so the audience is going to eat this up, not going to lie. So far, from what I've heard, all of the jokes in here seem to land, so the humor, is, the humor isn't off-putting or anything like that. Although, I will again stress, I could have a different opinion as well as you. You could have a different opinion as well. The killer's mask still looks like the hard eyes emoji that I tweeted about earlier this year. Not exactly the same, but you'll understand what I mean when you see it. The mask can also glow in the dark, which comes into play at some point. There are, for anyone wondering, there are at least three prominent chase scenes. For anyone curious about chase scenes, this film has at least three prominent chase scenes. There is some sort of drive-in sequence that occurs that aids in a bait-and-switch that comes later on in the film. So pay attention to that drive-in scene. And everything else seems to be very... Scream 6 and Sick Coded, if you will. Now, Scream 6 and Sick have a lot in common. So if you want to jump to conclusions, you're on your own. I am not telling you to jump down that conclusion. If you jump down that conclusion, you made that choice. There's a lot that those films have in common to me. But it definitely, again, is very Sick and Scream 6 Coded. Take from that what you will the film is supposed to again drop in february doesn't seem to be anything overly spectacular doesn't seem to be anything that's completely trash though if i'm being quite honest it sounds like hard eyes is going to be the freaky of the year or the happy death day of the year basically like it's going to be what those films were for the genre when the in those respective years when they came out is all i'm getting at it's going to be the horror comedy of the year theatrically i can see that happening but you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video